Hello dudes, Axel here. Welcome to another Linux video. So, today we're going to be taking a look at an alternative web browser to some of the bigger names such as Firefox, Chrome, Opera, things like that. All three of which are available on Linux, by the way, if you use any of those. But um, what we're going to be taking a look at is a, um, an alternative browser. It's a lightweight browser, multi-platform, all that good stuff called Cubzilla. So, with Cubzilla, now, first off, technically, a lot of these um, alternative browsers aren't necessarily quite as fully featured as the big names like Firefox and Chrome and stuff, but um, they still work really well. And it's not kidding about lightweight, because it, it loads fast. Let me just open up a random, let's just go, whatever first pops up as a YouTube video. Uh, that one, perfect. Yeah. So, this is a bad example. It was loading just fine earlier, I swear. Anyway, um, so first let me start with what made me look into this in the first place, because normally I'm perfectly happy with Firefox, so that's what I've used for the longest time with occasional flings with Google Chrome. Um, so, after the most recent Firefox updates that uh, hit the Solus repos, um, let me just show you real quick. If I go to Firefox, just open this up real quick. First off, Firefox just takes a while to open, and like, look at that. That's, that's just DuckDuckGo. That's just the freaking search engine. Look how long that took versus going to the same in Cupzilla. Look at that. Let's do that again. One more time. DuckDuckGo. Like, what, a second or two? If we go to it again in Firefox. It was a little bit longer. It might have been longer the first time because I was on startup, but that definitely felt a little longer. But that's not even like the main reason or anything. Let me go back to YouTube. We'll just click on whatever pops up. We'll see what we get on you as well. Technically, that finished loading quicker, but technically, I only started loading it on Cupzilla like after. So, as of right now, Cupzilla is loading pages faster than Firefox, which is great. That is a lot of Dragon Ball Super stuff. Good God. Oh, because Masa Kawai. Okay. So, we'll just start with... Um, Gang Grumps Animated. Why not? Let's see. So, what's up? Takes a little bit boop. now. The main thing that was bothering me... Turn that key, is, Mario. It's, it's oh, shit. Not Where'd you get happen. the key from? I'm just trying to show oh, stuff. Oh, that's right. When you killed Bowser, you turned... Quick. First off, the controls are like really sluggish for some reason on Firefox now. Like that, that, that that's weird in itself. Um, I'm trying to go full screen. It like just, just kind of hangs for a second. If you notice that, so that's Firefox. Let me go to the same thing in Cubzilla. Let's close that tab real quick. Same thing in Cubzilla. <laughs> Basically finishes loading before I can even get to the tab. Turn that key, Mario. And oh shit. We're Still, like, you can see it not fully full screen right away, but that was still faster than Firefox. So, like, I don't know what happened with the latest Firefox update, but, um, yeah, it got me looking into, like, other stuff like Cubzilla, which, of course, I first went to Cubzilla because I'm running the uh, KDE Plasma desktop, and, um, speaking of all that, uh, in the near future, well, I guess not, I shouldn't say near future, it's technically already happened, uh, Cubzilla is now an official, uh, KDE project. And it's being renamed to KDE Falcon. Now, the version that is in the Solus repositories at the moment is still called Cupzilla, but there is a snap version available of the new named Cupzilla, which is now called KDE Falcon. So that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I guess the main reason I wanted to show this was like, first off, if you switch to Linux, you do still have all of your regular big name browsers available, but Let's say if you're running like an older laptop or something and those browsers can like tend to give you problems, something more lightweight such as an, such as an alternative like Cupzilla here could be a nice option. And like, I mean, even on my computer, Ryzen 7 1700, RX 570, I like still had some slowness with Firefox, like mostly just on YouTube. Like that was the main place that I noticed it because I'm on YouTube like all the time. But even without like Cupzilla, it's, it works nice. It works really nice. So, um, 
other good things, it, it also has a lot of uh, customization options, which is even even though it's only just now a KDE application, is uh, still pretty nice how much it has. The very typical of KDE applications. Lots of configuration ability, lots of customization. A lot of good stuff here. You can also change the theming to make it look like other stuff. So let's say if we try Windows, it's supposed to be based on Windows 7. <coughs> okay. Uh, we also got Mac. God, that, that just, that... Immediately, first thing that comes to mind is that looks like Blender for some reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got Chrome like. Okay, yeah, I can, I can see that. A... Breeze? I think that's right. Okay, Oxygen, that's like KD4, I think. Anyway, I'm going back to default because that looks better. So, with the default name, of course. It does integrate a lot better with your desktop's theme, with which things like Firefox and Chrome don't do as well. But this can basically fully integrate with it. You can even like take the scroll bars from your theme, which those would not do. So I'm gonna keep this pretty short, but just want to do a quick little look at Cupzilla, as it is a nice lightweight browser that is a very nice alternative to some of the bigger names. So anyway. That's going to be it for this one, dudes. Uh, Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you dudes in the next one. I was looking at the wrong camera. I was looking at my webcam again. Main camera's right there. Webcam, you. Webcam, you. I'm terrible at this. Like, God, I even, like, look, webcam, you guys. Webcam, you guys. Okay, goodbye.